in this box, I have a Z lens. Will it be good? Will it be bad? Click the video, let's find out. Hey YouTube, what's up? I have the Nikon 24-70 f4 Z lens in this box. We're gonna open it up, see how it is. Like, subscribe, comment. This is gonna be a fun, uh, just initial impressions video. Uh, opening it up, getting a feel for it, seeing who I think it's for, maybe actually taking a couple pictures with it too. Cool. Ooh, very small. That's what she said. Okay. Let's check this guy out here. So, for some strange reason, they put the hood over the plastic. So it does say Nikkor on it, and if anyone ever wants to answer for me why Nikon lenses say Nikkor on them, you know, it, I, I don't know. It just has always uh, been a mystery to me, and a mystery I've never really cared to investigate. So, Nikon, Nikkor, 24-70. Again, S lenses, why aren't they called Z lenses? Very confusing to me. But, so technically this is the S lens, um, yeah, for 24-70 F4. Okay. So, initial impressions. It is quite small. That's what she said! Let's take a look at this guy. Boop, boop, boop. You know, it has the same feel of the Sony lenses, like the Sony mirrorless lenses. It's a little wider than they are. Um, so what's interesting here is it has like this sticky point where it's locked and then it goes to 24 and then it goes to 70. So I don't know what the deal is here, why I'd want this. So this is the range, and this is like, I guess travel mode or something, so it's extra compact, but I guess it doesn't work here. So anytime you're shooting, it always has to be between 24 and 70, I guess. We'll throw it on the camera and see how it works. Um, what I also notice, again, I haven't done really any research because why well, do that? Um, there is no stabilization on this lens. There's just, Autofocus, manual focus. Um, so, build quality feels nice. It's black, you know, a little plasticky. Whatever, it's this big. Okay. Um, <clears throat> first lens that I would compare this to, just on sense of touch and really the people that I think that are going to be competing to or picking between, is this guy, the older 24 to 120 f4. Obviously, this is not a mirrorless lens. Um, but this was the kit lens they were using for a while. Um, a great video lens. This has VR in it though. This guy does not. Size wise, uh, the mirrorless lens is much smaller. Um, but notice this is at 24. It's bigger. That's what she said. Uh, once this, once this gets to 24 though, let's see, you know, we're looking at this being actually longer when it's at 24, whereas this is shorter when it's at 24. Not that it matters. When this is at 70, 70, and 70. So again, that's actually kind of funny that this lens is longer than this one. They're both the same F4 lens though. Um, so let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's throw it on the camera, see what happens. So, this is going to be very exciting because this is the first time I'm putting a non-adapted lens on this guy. Okay, I'm going to take that stuff off. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Man, I swear no one has ever touched this lens. This seriously seems like it was sitting there and I'm the first person to touch it. There's like not even a speck on it. Ooh. So very nice. Uh, the package is really nice. It is so small now. That's what she said. So, okay, so this is actually kind of interesting. So let's check that message out there. So it says, let's make sure my face is out of it. it says, before taking photos, extend the zoom ring to extend the lens, all right? So I'm now going to extend the zoom ring and now, it will work. All right, so, right, it's a camera. It takes pictures. It's a lens. Let's see what it sounds, let's see what it sounds like.
but so we it's so initially so i'm just gonna say outright i do not like this lens uh because i stopped at 24 started just snapping away and then i kept going and what that then did is blacked out my screen and said before taking photos open the zoom ring to extend the lens so i'm sure i would get the feel for it but that's just dumb i don't understand what the point of this i think it was called travel mode or something like that why would you not just make the travel mode at the 24 mark i don't know i'm not a lens manufacturer but that initially would really be something that would annoy me and i'm very curious if the other z lenses s lenses are going to do something similar to that um, this package though is really nice, but this should be what the 24 is. The fact that I have to always remember to do that, and really that means when I'm walking around, I'm always going to have to be in this slightly aroused state where it's kind of popping out a little bit. You know, I don't want to have a semi when I'm taking pictures. That's weird. That's what she said. Um, but so let's see. Um, I think this would be obviously marketed towards someone who's not a professional um who's just looking for like a good all-around lens to do a little bit of everything and this could definitely fit the bill for that um uh, the f4 is doable but there are so many lenses coming out now that you can get at like 2.8 that are not ridiculously expensive that will give you that um so i don't know if there's really a point to this sort of lens other than it's just cheaper and people will buy the cheaper thing even though the entire time they have it, they're going to be thinking about the better thing. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. There's really, I have nothing to take photos of in here right now. Um, but so the other stuff that I'm kind of curious about is what will this sound like auto focusing on video mode? All right, here we go. All right, here we go. We're going to turn our focus mode to auto and here we go. Uh, I think my focus is set weird. Yeah, here we go. Auto focus, full time. Okay, we're going, I'll show you my menu here. Let me see if I could do this. With, okay, we're going from continuous to full time. All right. Let's see if we hear anything now. No, it's weird. So I'm so used to these lenses grinding. But no, it's it's racking focus. It's going. Uh, let's, let me see if I turn focus peaking on. It'll be... I'm going to turn up the focus speed. Um, and that should hopefully make it... Because I'm, I'm honestly like right now trying to make it focus faster. And make a less smooth focus. Uh, AF speed. Yeah, I have my AF speed turned so slow. So let's, here we go. Now it's back to zero. Let's see. Yep. Okay, watch, here we go. Let me get out of the way and see if it focuses on the background. Yep. But so, very cool it is focusing completely silently which is awesome and something that's driven me crazy about uh adapting lenses and i think right now is a really good time to show you what that actually will sound like so let's get rid of this guy i'm gonna put because i think it's the fairest comparison to this lens is this 24 to 120 is that this one oh, it's over here it's 24 to 120 I think it's right around the same price point. Um, I have no idea. I'll look at it. But so listen to this guy. You hear that? Yeah, it sounds like nails on a chalkboard. But the uh, 24 to 70 F4 is just completely silent. Um, so let me pop that off. Let me pop this back on What's this one. Got my maze of lenses here. Okay, so initial impressions on this lens before actually taking any real pictures with it is I don't like it. Um, this to me, 
If they did this with the 24 to 70 2.8, which I don't know if they did or did not, it would be a complete deal breaker for me. This insane travel mode idea that when I go to pick up my lens, it is not ready to shoot, that I have to now rotate it to this locking position is the craziest thing I've ever seen on a lens and makes it completely useless for me in shooting events because I will miss things because of that. I will go like this and go, why is it not taking pictures? Right? So really bizarre design decision. Um, so I don't know why they did that. I don't like that at all. This gets a strong thumbs down. Um, I'm going to take it out for some shots this weekend and see what the pictures look like and see if that forgives it at all. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's an F4 lens. There's only so much you can do with that, especially with what I do in shooting sports indoors with at low light. So F4 is not really going to cut it. Uh, but give it a fair shake. Could be a fun walk around lens. We'll see what happens. Cool. Like, subscribe, comment. Wait for that next video. And I'll see you next time. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs>